Hey, Brett. Hey. <laughs> I love that. It's like, come up here all heavily. Da, 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 da. Hey. hey. How's it going? All right, let's make it official. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Normally, normally we, 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 we firmly put me under the bus at this point in the, in the, in the story, but I have a story for you. So I would like to I'd like to tell a story because this moment right here, as you know, is the very first opening of what will become our fifth year. And so I wanted I wanted to take a risk, and I wanted I wanted to share kind of a, a personal story, a thing uh, that I, I finally finished uh, a thirty uh, many year journey, and I wanted to tell you about the, the the beginning of it and the far end of it. So if, if, I, if I may, are you guys down with that? Yeah. Fantastic. So picture young me at an amusement park in Anaheim, California. It has to go nameless because they will sue the crap out of us. So there I was, and there's an island there named after a fictional character. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And um, there is a steamboat that goes around the island that is named, is the nom de plume of a gentleman by the name of Sam Clemens. Are, you, are we all with me so far? Yeah, okay, good, good, good. And I met the steamboat captain, proud man. And he took me up to the wheelhouse. So I was literally in his wheelhouse. <laughs> he spoke from a position of authority because he was in his wheelhouse. So he, he said to me, he said, now, now, you can't spin this wheel like crazy because otherwise we will, we will die on the rocks. He said, you can't shake it a lot because as funny as even I think that would be, and let's face it, those old people down there will throw up and that won't be fun because we'll have to clean it up. He said, but if you can be very careful and follow my exact directions, I will let you guide this riverboat. Whoa. Yes! And little me put his hands reverently on the wheel and shaking, I guided a riverboat. And this began an epic journey in my life. Ten years later, cynicism hit. I found a book that told me that the particular thing at Disneyland, don't sue us, I'm telling a story, on, Mark Twain, on the Mark Twain steamboat uh, is on a rail. <laughs> but until then, <laughs> but at that moment, I was sure I could feel the water moving, and I turned and it slid. I swear I thought it was true. I thought it was true with all of my being. Every fiber in me swore. Yeah, I, pirate, I, I piloted and practically pirated. <laughs> Disney, I had no plan. <laughs> but I had this, <laughs> clearly. But I, I, had this, I had this idea that I had actually done this, and, and it stayed with me. And last weekend, I got to finish a journey. You see, um, we were, uh, the circus freaks were invited to be the uh, sort of USO entertainment at another pop culture reference, the Red Cross has an event called The Bash every year, big fundraiser, that is themed after a, a certain rhyming television show, which I'm not allowed to name because of legal reasons. It is set in the backdrop of the Korean War. Are we with me? Oh, oh good, good, good. And they open the event in the coolest way possible. They recreate the opening moment of that show, that classic iconic image of that medical helicopter coming over the hill while suicide is painless, the instrumental version is booming out over rusty old speakers, and they recreated this moment. And it was so cool, and I mean, I grew up on this stuff. I mean, this is pop culture, we all get this, right? I'm just older than you, so it's, it's older <laughs> pop culture. There was this dinosaur, no. Okay, so I saw this, and I'm, I'm actually genuinely moved. I mean, this is really cool stuff because I'm seeing something in real life that, you know, that was just a part of my childhood. And nobody seems to really be excited about it. They're there to watch the helicopter. They're milling about. But they're not there for it. And I figure, well, I'm the clown. I can't go out there and yell at them. So I grab a pair of those safety headphones and two juggling clubs, and I go out front. And I go, you guys ready? And they all say... I said, I can't hear you because I'm wearing safety gear because of the helicopter making a lot of noise. Are you guys ready? Yeah! And eventually I got them to that point you got to so quickly. And I got them all to agree that they were going to shout, just like the TV show, Choppers, when the chopper shows up. And eventually they shouted, Chopper! 
and I spun around. I took about five steps forward, still very far away from the actual action, and I began doing this. <laughs> with all of my being, just throwing my arms around with these two juggling clubs, big clown nose, baggy pants, going with everything I had. And there was this split-second moment where the helicopter stopped overhead before going to its landing position. And everybody saw it stop. And I did this, and it went that way. And, it... <laughs> and everybody looked at me like, oh! <gasps> and I looked at them like, holy cow, that just happened. And I start, I'm proud now, right? I'm walking around, they're like, good job, you landed that helicopter. I'm like, I know, first time right side up. <laughs> and I'm thinking, all right. Little kids are like, I saw the dance you did. And so throughout the day, people were just randomly coming up to me going, good job. <laughs> Needless to say, energy was going very well. The day went really well. At the end of the day, you know, they finished the day in a similar fashion, we see the helicopter leave the area and I think, what a nice end cap that'll be. I'll go grab the safety gear and I'll grab the headphones and I trot out there and four armed guards got in front of me. Oh, no. And they said, we're not mad. <laughs> this journey has taken 35 years. And so I've learned a thing or two in 35 years. The first one is when four men with guns show up and say, we're not mad, they are. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, Whenever they say something like, you're not in trouble, you are. at minimum, there's a comma, but coming. <laughs> Best case scenario, you're about to hear a comma. And surely enough, I did. They said, but we can't have you signaling the helicopter again. <laughs> Excuse me? He goes, you, you need to talk to the, the people in charge of the event. And so I salute the helicopter with the juggling club still in my hand. Watch it fly away. Everybody's like, you didn't send it off. I said, I know. And I go back and I go and I say, so there was a, and they said, yeah, we're not mad. <laughs> Comma. But it seems you know that moment where it stopped in the air. Apparently in my sort of epileptic gyrations, I had given the instruction to stop and then go land way the hell over there. And so they did. And so, yeah, it turns out that I had inadvertently actually landed a helicopter. <laughs> Good job, right side up and everything. <laughs> Suddenly it matters a lot more. We had wondered why all day long it was parked so far away. That was me. <laughs> so first of all, to the people of the Red Cross, I'd like to say, whoops, my bad. To the four guys with the guns, I'm like, dude, no problem. And to the guy in the helicopter, seriously, if you see someone with a big red nose doing this, he's probably not in charge. I mean, to be fair, they are in the military, but we'll leave it alone. <laughs> no. There, it was an amazing event. I was proud to be a part of it. And on the far, the far side of all of it, the reason I tell you the story is this. When I was like the little version of me with the steamboat, I believed that to the core of my being. And when I was out there gyrating like an idiot, there was a moment where I truly believed that I was an air traffic control helicopter landing dude. I made that come true. <laughs> the point of that is simply this. People get up here on this stage and they're trying to become something, be something, do something you may only see a snapshot of them. But all, if they believe in it, it's one thing. But the fact is you guys, every week, come out here and believe in it too. Thank you so much and welcome to the open stage.